Hi guys, welcome to Next Gen Student Channel, Thermod and Make Web Series. Today I am going to discuss Gaskell 10.7 question. So let's get started. So in this question, you are given a simple eutectic system containing calcium oxide and magnesium oxide and it has alpha beta phases and a eutectic temperature at 2370 and we have 2300 degrees celsius a tie line where we have to find out the compositions of x1 and x2 so if you draw the g versus x curve at 2300 degrees celsius and take a common tangent you have x1 and x2 g alpha and g beta and you know that for a common tangent the chemical potential at alpha beta phases for each component mgo and cao should be the equal so look into page 339 and 340 in gaskell textbook to get clarity of this equality of chemical potential also we know that the chemical potential can be written in terms of activity so we will do the same and using that equation above we can say that a Activity of component A in alpha phase equals to activity of component A in beta phase and similarly for the B component so here A is MgO and C is calcium oxide <coughs> so let's take first equation and for component A MgO we have x1 and x2 so x1 is a maximum solubility of Alpha 1 and X2 is the maximum solubility of MgO in calcium oxide. Also, we know that activity can be written as omega into mole fraction. So, here we talk about the calcium oxide solubility in magnesium oxide because it's limited. So, that's why here we should use gamma into X. But beta, we are in CO rich region. So here we talk the solubility of calcium oxide in MgO. So this is the equation that we get. If you have questions on this, please comment below. I will give more clarity. So now for the P component calcium oxide, we have the maximum solubility as 1 minus x2 and 1 minus x1. If you take from the right hand side, so we will use the same equation and here for calcium oxide we talk about the solubility of magnesium oxide in calcium oxide so we have 1 minus to x fraction solubility in beta and 1 minus x1 fraction solubility in alpha so for alpha we will use <coughs> yeah so here again we talk about the solubility of magnesium oxide magnesium oxide solubility in calcium oxide so here we use 1 minus 1 into 1 minus x1 equals 2 so please understand this if you have questions please comment below so that equals to 6.23 into 1 minus x2 so we will use these two equations to solve x1 and x2 and x1 we obtain as 0 0.066 and x2 as 0.85 so here x1 is not 0 0.66 it's 0 0.066 please note that thank you for watching this video if you like the content Please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel. 
Also, please press the bell icon for further notifications. If you have any content that you would like to see, please do comment below.